Welcome to this video on Key Performance Indicators. I'm Alan Ayler. In this video, we'll discuss what KPIs are, we'll define them, and we'll look at a few examples of their use. We'll talk about how KPIs play a critical role in our business improvement framework, DMAIC, and how they can drive our process improvements and our continuous drive towards innovation. Finally, we'll look at how we measure KPIs and how we can use them effectively to accomplish our business goals. Let's begin. What is a key performance indicator? A key performance indicator is a measurable value that demonstrates how effectively we are achieving our business objectives. We use KPIs at multiple levels to evaluate our success at reaching targets. High-level KPIs may focus on our overall performance and our value to the organization, while lower-level KPIs focus on the performance of processes that describe how well our, sec our different sections, such as networking or service delivery, are performing. Key performance indicators let us know if we are on target. Examples of key performance indicators are number of project deficiencies. A KPI may measure the number of times that what we plan to do in our functional performance specifications was different from the actual result or what we intended to get, resulting in reduced availability of a service, product, or technology. This may have resulted in our missing our agreed level of service or SLA. Another example could be our service desk response rate, where we measure the percentage of calls answered by a service desk analyst and, the and we divide that by the total number of calls to the service desk. This lets us know how many times the phone rang and we didn't pick up. Why did this happen? Were we too busy? Was there a spike in calls due to a problem? We need to investigate. Then there are technology-based key performance indicators such as critical server availability that measure the availability of a critical server hardware uptime for a given period of time. This KPI gives us insight into how our infrastructure is performing relative to the targets we have set. Why we gather key performance indicators. Goal measurement. We set strategic goals we want to achieve. The only way to know if we've achieved our goals is to measure our success using real data. We do this by using key performance indicators. If we didn't implement KPIs, we would not have precise data to know if a goal or objective had been achieved. Snapshot of performance. KPIs provide us with an immediate snapshot to communicate our overall performance. In today's complex environments, it's easy to become lost in information overload. KPIs express vital decision-making information succinctly so issues can be identified and we can begin actioning solutions. Education and Communication The act of measuring KPIs promotes an atmosphere of learning in an organization. According to root cause analysis, the data generated from measuring key performance indicators fosters critical conversations. These critical conversations foster a team approach to problem solving. These discussions educate all personnel involved. Continuity. Because KPIs promote long-term strategic goals, it becomes important to keep the measurements consistent over time. Although we can always change our goals, the measurement of a KPI should remain fairly consistent. For this reason, KPIs become strategic to supporting our plan and our vision. Actionable. KPIs have a certain level of importance, but only if the KPI leads to actionable steps to achieve a goal. For example, it does not make sense for a company to establish a KPI to increase customer retention 100% if it does not have a chance of reaching this goal. The goal needs a measurable component that results in actionable steps. If the company revises the KPI to achieve customer retention by 10%, it now has a measurable quantifi quantifiable goal. 
the company must convert the measured, quantified data into actionable items to meet its goal. Improved support. We can't improve what we don't measure. An important takeaway is that we do KPIs to support our mutual improvement effort as part of our approach to be continuously improving our service and our value to the organization. KPIs should never be viewed as punitive. Instead, they are here to assist our efforts, keep us on track, keep us working together, learning together, and moving forward as one. Performance Improvement Framework KPIs play a central role within our overall performance improvement framework. This framework is a cycle and it doesn't end as we never stop trying to do better. In our performance improvement framework we define, we identify and scope out the reasons for needing to measure performance based on business objectives, targets, strategy and need. Measure. We measure our performance using meaningful data and metrics to create our KPIs. Analyze. We analyze our KPIs and use that information to investigate opportunities for improvement and make solution recommendations. Improve. We implement recommendations, sometimes through projects, sometimes through sprints. We look to make an improvement that will bring us closer to achieving our target. Control. Once we have implemented an improvement, we need to control it so we don't regress back to past behaviors. To do this, we instantiate processes and supporting metrics that measure our success failure of the improvement and prevent reversion to previous negative practices. This gives us the DMAIC life cycle. The DMAIC improvement cycle is the core tool used to drive Six Sigma projects. However, DMAIC is not exclusive to Six Sigma and can be used as the framework for any performance improvement process. Now much of the literature talks about KPIs needing to be smart. And by smart we mean specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based. Now this smart came from project management and was appropriate to more critical success factors CSFs. However, the most important characteristic of a KPI is that it be actionable. By being actionable, if you get a negative trend, you should be able to know pretty much what you need to do to fix whatever is going wrong. Moreover, another important characteristic is a KPI needs to be owned. It needs to be part of a process, a part of a procedure, and someone has to own it. Because without that, a KPI will just evaporate and become of limited, limited use to the organization. Furthermore, organizations tend to pile on the KPIs. What that means is that they start off with a few, and they grow, and they grow, and they grow, and they end up measuring everything and anything. And that's because those KPIs, as they grow in number, stop being aligned to the key objectives and strategies that the organization is trying to achieve. You should only have a few KPIs. When your number grows, you lose alignment. How we measure using KPIs. As part of our DMAIC performance improvement cycle framework, we measure to determine if we are on target by follow our KPI policy. Following our KPI policy, which directs our key performance indicator work, provides the directive to capture KPIs and keeps us aligned with our strategic plan. Employ the KPI onboarding process. Employing the KPI onboarding process, which is the process for not only onboarding or beginning to measure performance through KPIs, but also describes how we maintain and retire KPIs. Capture KPI requirements. Capturing KPI requirements is to know what we want to measure and how we should measure something. Develop key performance indicators. Actually developing the data, metrics, and KPIs in a consistent, logical, statistically sound manner. Report and maintain results. Reporting results and explaining variances and the sharing of our approach. How we use KPIs. We use KPIs to analyze and improve. We use KPIs within our performance improvement framework as an output of the measure subprocess and an input to the analysis and improvement subprocesses. KPIs help us to do analysis 
because they help us focus on what is going on so we can investigate and understand. Once we have done our analysis and have an idea of the problem, we can begin the improvement process to take us from where we are to where we want to be. To promote transparency. The disclosure of key performance indicators promotes transparency and removes bias from the decision-making process. Good KPIs are based on good data, not opinion. By disclosing key performance indicators, an honest, open approach to analysis and improvement can commence. Make informed decisions. Without KPIs, how could performance be determined? How would informed decision making be made? By gut? In a vacuum? Simply, KPIs let us know what is going on. While a single KPI can, can, pro can provide snapshots of performance for a single period of time, many KPIs can provide us with the ability to see trends that we can graph to allow us to do additional measures such as regression analysis. Single KPIs enable tactical decision making. Multiple KPIs that form trends enable strategic decision making and wider planning initiatives. Continuously improve. Fundamentally, we use KPIs to continuously improve our service delivery to our customers. To ensure we understand our customers, that we are delivering value through our understanding of our customers' business, that we are ensuring the delivery of high-quality, reliable, predictable services, and that we are doing so at the very best cost. In this presentation, indicators, we discussed what KPIs are, we defined what a key performance indicator is, and we reviewed a few examples. We looked at why we use KPIs and our business drivers for implementing them. We talked about our performance improvement framework, DMAIC, and how KPIs play a key role in measuring our success. Finally, we looked at why KPIs are important for our continuous improvement and how they drive our diligent efforts to deliver value to our customer. Key Performance Indicators – Keeping Our Business on Target The successful measurement of key performance indicators are critical to the innovation and the ability to have continuous improvement in any organization. Thank you for watching this presentation on key performance indicators. I'm Alan Aylert. We'll see you next time.